Hello Virgos, it's your girl Percy here to do your 18 and older sex readings. Yay, it's about to be a fun time. <laughs> so uh, what we're doing is the first half of the month for October and then seeing how you're feeling about that, that second half of the month, see how you're feeling about that and what to expect leaving the month, okay? Um, we're gonna shuffle your cards, do some friendly reminders per usual. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are uh, returning, welcome back. All right, so friendly reminders, that's tarot for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought because everything's flying all over the place. I'm here for you. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, click that description box down below. And if you have not done so already, consider hitting the subscribe button, okay? So first half of the month, let's see what we have going on. We had a whole bunch of cards fall. The first card that's coming to my intention is, ooh, we got some action going on, but who is this person? <laughs> we have, I heard young 30s for whoever this is for, we have a person that, I feel like they are strong-minded naturally, but they submit to you. I kind of like that as a title too. This is someone that knows her shit. You know, could be in the bedroom, could be outside the bedroom, could be both. And she might be just have a very strong demeanor, you know, whatever. But when it comes to you, she also knows how to sub, whoa, hold on, submit to you. And you like that because you're full on aware. <laughs> I heard she could kick your ass. <laughs> you're full on aware that it's just a different side of them that like only you know, okay? And they must be good at what they do, let's be real, because you think about them a lot. Hold on, because... But there's something about it here where you are... Why are you being hard on yourself about it? We're going to have to go into that. But like I was saying, you can't get this person off your mind. Almost like they're just on your mind a lot or everywhere you go, you see them. Like, for example, let's say you're on Instagram and you see them and you're on YouTube and then you see a thing, you know, that maybe they're a YouTuber um, or you're on whatever, um, TikTok or, you know, whatever. You just see them everywhere. Maybe you work with them and you're like, mother, I can't get this person off my mind. So why, what is this? There's a two of swords here. So it's like, oh, it's a four of swords. I was going to say you had to make a decision. We're just going to go into it. We're just going to find out. There's distance makes the heart fonder. There's something about this that's like every time you guys have a separation, I don't know, it's like you think about them a lot. But why are you upset about it? You miss them? But it feels like you don't tell them that you miss them. You may have had to end this connection recently. So maybe this was September, you know, whatever. But I don't know. It just seems like you're not really happy about it or you want it to continue. But it's like, I have to do this. You're not really secretive about it at all, actually. You guys are out in the open. It's like, fuck it. I can't. I can't hold out. So you know what this feels like? Neither can she. 
You know what this feels like? It feels like two people trying to be like, listen, let's not do this anymore. And neither one of you can fucking hold out. That's what it feels like. But for some reason, I keep seeing the masculine energy here. I don't know if it's like they were the ones that cut it out or whatever. Because I see that it weighs on their head a little more stronger, you know. She's kind of just like doing her thing. I feel like she knows that you guys are going to come back. She was, don't get me wrong, she was hurt. You know, she's like, damn, this fucking sucks. <laughs> but she knows that eventually you guys always, you can't resist. You always come back. Why are you guys always doing shit in the open? <laughs> it's like you're hiding, but you're not really hiding at all. It's like, if they find out, they find out. Fuck it. But at the same time, like, it's not my first preference for them to find out. See? Still sneaking around, whatever. But I don't feel like it matters. So can we go into this whole, like, ending thing real quick? And then I'll move on from that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it for a second. 6.46 when I looked at the time. So we have 10, 16, 7. It's a long journey. It's, you guys have been in each other's lives for a long time. You've been doing this pattern for a long time. And I keep hearing, like, let's be friends, let's not be friends, let's be friends, let's not be friends. Like, what is that about? But it just feels like the last time for some reason was different, you know? Maybe you don't know. I don't know. It's... Someone doesn't really want people to know... It's like they don't want to tell their friends or that this is who they really, like, spend more of their time with or want to spend more of their time with. They all have masks on. Skeletons in everyone's closet. But then there you go again, going right back to the same thing. It's almost like I don't even see the point of you trying to be friends because it's kind of like you guys always go back to this. You can't, you, it feels like you can't resist. You always go back to being more than friends. That should probably be a title. So let's talk about the second half of the month, okay? And um, see, you know, what's happening, What are how are we feeling about it, what to expect. Second half of the month, please. The moon. You see each other at night a lot. It's funny. You see each other at night a lot, <laughs> right? And it's like, I don't know, she's just like, something about this person is sexy. It might just be how they carry themselves. You also like that they're really clean. There's something important about that. You like, they, like, they always smell good, they're always clean, like, you never have to worry about that. That might be something that's important to you. Maybe they have, like, a fresh shower every time they see you, it's like, you know. And you're like, oh, freshly showered? You know what that means. Freshly showered usually tastes better. And what's interesting is they both make each other really happy, okay? 
They do. It's like, when I'm with you, I don't have to worry about anything. And, but neither one of them really tell each other that. Because they both kind of have masks on, but not really, because they're both see-through. Right? When I'm with you, I don't have to think about anything. It's just you and I. It's just us having this moment. I just can't tell you that. I heard because you'll run away. And they just won't tell you for... I don't know what reason. Why can't they tell you? I don't know, but he just... The masculine energy just doesn't tell them. But they know. Because there's another person in the picture. And they're scared that, like, it, it will go too far or something like that. Scared it will go too far. <laughs> we have a ten of cups here. We have the nine, so them being single-ish. But there's another person around. What's this scared of going too far thing about? I'm telling you, they can't stop thinking about them. Can't catch you off my foot. Now, before they were thinking of like, I can't stop thinking about the sex that we have or the not even the sex like just like the encounters that we have now it's I can't stop thinking about how we don't have that right now it something ended recently or it was put to a halt but it's like you're gonna get back it's like you're gonna get back together see I want to show you my attention I want to give it to you I want to give it to you Right? I'm going to give it to you. All right, so how are we leaving the month? Because it kind of just feels like someone's trying to be friends or not be sexual. And then, obviously, that doesn't really happen. And then you guys kind of go into cycle a lot of times. And But there's something that happened the last time that feels different. Um, are they going to, like, kind of reunite before October ends? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Seven. You're getting a lot of sevens. This is a journey. Remember I told you it was a journey? This has been happening for a long time. It's going to continue happening for a long time. Period. So, I don't even know why this dude is still stressing about, like, how things ended or whatever. Because they are. They're like low-key stressing about it. They're like, oh, well, I had to go a different direction. And, you know, this is like running away almost. A ten of wands. It was just becoming too much. So is that the real problem? The emotions started becoming too much? So they, they were like, let me just cut the sex off. She's too, she's too strong. She's too, she's a lot. <laughs> it goes back to the beginning of the reading. It's, it's a lot. I don't know how to deal with these feelings. I have feelings now. Ah! I don't know how to deal with it. So I'm just going to put a mask on. I just don't want the drama. No drama, no drama. And it's like, she's like, okay. But she's waiting, like she knows. She's disappointed, but she kind of knows that eventually it'll come back anyways. She knows. Yeah, she knows. All right, that's going to be reading. Until next time, bye.